Hello, and welcome to this video. I'm Bastien Boutonnet, and at Soda, I lead the Insights and Automation team. Today, we'll talk to you about our latest and greatest, the DBT test integration. This integration allows you to ingest test results from DBT so that you can benefit from all of the incident management and team collaboration features that Soda has to offer. If you don't really know what Soda is all about, I'll give you a quick roundup, but if you're already familiar with us, feel free to skip ahead to the demo. So Soda is a platform that's built to bring everyone in a modern data team closer to the data, to get involved in finding, analyzing, and resolving data issues. We're really a data observability and reliability platform, provides a comprehensive end-to-hand -end workflow to detect those issues and resolve them as a, as a team. Soda focuses on four pillars. The first one is automated monitoring. That's kind of the bulk of what my team focuses on. Our mission is to automatically monitor key characteristics of your data that could lead to data issues um, with a very, very minimal amount of configuration needed so that you can connect your data sets to Soda and directly start getting insights on your data quality issues without really having to press many buttons at all. The second pillar is data testing. Um, data testing is testing the data as soon as it flows into your data pipelines. So you can stop bad data from polluting downstream products, such as reporting dashboards on which people make decisions, as well as uh, machine learning uh, products. The third pillar is data validation. Um, this is really aimed at enhancing the test experience where you as a team can collaborate on creating validations, collaborate and agree with stakeholders on what makes data fit for purpose. And finally, incidents and actions, which allows teams to collaborate um, and resolve um, data issues as a team. I really believe that um, each stakeholder at various points of the journey has a part to play in maintaining data uh, quality. Data quality ultimately is a, is a team sport. And therefore, Soda provides an ecosystem or platform where all of these stakeholders can tackle data issues. So the way that Soda brings everybody around data quality issues um, starts with a open source data reliability set of tools, um, which are easily extensible um, and offer um, native connection to SQL sources, Spark, and streaming data. It is the entry door, the tool that is going to help you define most of the checks that you want to put on your data, and that is also going to help you detect those issues. Soda Cloud is the integrated environment that allows to connect to a variety of sources, but also uh, have visibility on the current state of your data, as well as its issues. Soda Cloud is really the place where all of the stakeholders that we described earlier meet to first have visibility over the data issues, um, as well as collaborating in resolving those. So we mentioned that Soda pr provides an end-to-end -end workflow to detect and resolve issues. And one of the ways that it does this is by integrating with um, other tools in the ecosystem. That's really what the modern data stack is all about. You know, we believe that you should use great tools to fit well into your workflow and that connect well with the rest of your stack. To do this end, we are announcing our integration with dbt. Arguably, dbt is now the de facto tool for analytical transformations. It's a tool that people love and have embedded as part of their modern data stack uh, for quite a, a few years now. And a big part of the dbt workflow revolves around enforcing data validation tests close to the, the transformations. As such, analytical engineers, the ones who uh, build data uh, and analytical transformations, naturally will have spent considerable amount of time writing data tests in dbt. Unfortunately, the data reliability journey doesn't stop at detecting failures. You could argue that actually that's only the start. And that is one of the reasons why the Soda Cloud platform provides a flurry of features that facilitate this journey from detection to issue resolution. So before I show you how our dbt integration works, let me first explain why you should ingest your dbt tests in Soda Cloud. So as we said, dbt is really, really amazing for transformation. It is loved and adored by a very large community. Um, and dbt is really great at making sure that analytical engineers um, validate their data as they develop. And integrating dbt with Soda Cloud is really all about augmenting the tests 
that you're running in dbt. So while dbt focuses on building your transformation logic, Soda focuses on adding more testing capabilities such as um, automated monitoring. The Soda platform and mainly Soda Cloud is also a place where the results of the validations and checks uh, that you have put on your data can flow and create visibility on the health uh, of your data, as well as how um, the health of your data has progressed over time. And finally, as, as, as we already said earlier, um, detecting data issues is, is really the beginning. When you detect a data issue, you generally have to involve stakeholders, um, team members who are going to help you um, solve the issues, but you also want to make sure that you proactively alert people who depend on your data products. The incident management feature that was released very recently uh, by Soda allows you to really effectively manage data reliability and quality incident, whether those are in a data set or at record level. It alleviates the fear of not knowing and the pain of finding out too late that a data quality issue has had a downstream impact. You really don't want to have Sam from finance to reach out to you to tell you that the data is wrong. And we've all been there, right? Ideally, you would let them know that there is a problem and that they might want to hold off making any decisions um, that depend on some data source that is currently not so healthy. So to come back to uh, dbt, we said that quite a lot of uh, data testing has already probably happened in dbt. And we really want to make sure that we can enhance the experience of dbt users by allowing them to have the results of their tests flow into the Soda ecosystem so that they can benefit from the great issue management and collaboration uh, features that Soda Cloud and Soda has to offer. So let's jump into it and I'll show you how you can ingest your dbt test results into Soda Cloud. So as you can see, I now have on my screen a uh, view of a Soda project. So I've created these tables uh, with dbt and I've uh, onboarded them into Soda. So if I look at my STG orders uh, data set, you can see that I've got only two. I mean, it's a pretty fresh project. This is what a project looks like as soon as you've um, onboarded a data set. So one of the things that's important to know is in my Jaffelshop project, I have actually got a lot more tests than these two that I have currently configured in Soda. But with our integration, we can start bringing the results of those tests, whether they are passing or failing, into the Soda ecosystem so that we can benefit from all of the things that we talked earlier about. And the way we do this is using the Soda ingest command. Um, this command works pretty simply. We're going to do ingest and we're going to say we're ingesting from dbt. So Soda requires a warehouse um, YAML file um, to, be, uh, to be present. This warehouse YAML file you can check a little bit more in the documentation. So I have mine um, in here um, and yours will probably be somewhere similar. Um, one of the things that's important to know is that when you run dbt, um, it generates essentially two files with metadata about your entire model as well as the run results. And, and so what our integration is going to do is go into those metadata files, uh, ingest the test results, figure out which tables they're um, attached to, um, and package them in a way that Soda Cloud knows, uh, knows how to, to interpret and then show to you. These two files are commonly uh, referred to as artifacts. Um, so one of the things that we need to provide this command is the place where the dbt artifacts are. So we're going to pass dbt artifacts. Um, and those are generally in the uh, target folder if you are at the root of your dbt project. So and I'm going to hit enter and uh, Soda Ingest is going to start um, ingesting the test results from dbt. So as you can see, we've now ingested our first uh, test results from dbt. And if I go to the STG orders data set and hit refresh, I should be able to see that I have a few more tests and these tests clearly come from dbt. We make sure to label it so that you know where you know these additional tests come from. So we're going to focus on the unique staging orders order ID. 
which is the uh, which guarantees uniqueness of this table and that's very very important so just like any of the built-in uh, tests of soda uh, once you've ingested the dbt test result into the platform you're able to see um, the uh, results or the number of failures that have occurred on this test so i'm going to click on this and obviously this is not surprising. We have one data point because we just um, ingested our first result and it is of value zero, which is good. Um, we have zero failure or zero duplicate records. So obviously, this is, uh, this is great. To get things a little bit more interesting, we're going to create a data issue. So I'm going to go and uh, obviously create a, a fake data issue where I'm going to create a few duplicates of the orders data. So I'm currently creating a duplicate of order ID number one. And why not? Let's do a duplicate of lucky number seven. All right. So we're going to do this. We've artificially created a, a data issue here. And I'm going to call in a, a new run of dbt build. dbt build uh, does a test and then a run. So um, because our data now violates uniqueness, um, it is going to fail and tell us that there are two records that are uh, not unique. As you can see here, we have fail. All right. So we can now call a uh, new ingest of our data using the same command that we used earlier. All right. So we've ingested a new run uh, or new results run. And if I um, hit refresh on here, I'm going to be able to see that something new has happened. Um, now the unique staging orders order ID test is, is labeled as failing. Um, so a failure in dbt is reflected as a failure in soda. If I hit enter here, I can see that we've moved from zero failures to um, two failures. And that's amazing. What we can do from this failure is benefit from the whole incident and alerting management workflow that Soda offers. For example, if I go to my email, I now have uh, been alerted that there has been a failure on STG orders. If I have Slack configured uh, to integrate with uh, Soda, um, I would also be getting a, a Slack notification that something is wrong um, with my data. This doesn't stop here, of course. We mentioned incident management, and that's one of the most recent features we've launched. I can actually promote this alert. So I can create the incident here and say, unique violation in staging orders, whatever we want. We can actually make this as funny or as drab as, as, as can be. And because a violation of uniqueness is pretty bad, we're going to mark this as critical. Um, I can write a description. Looks like something um, bad has happened with our ingestion of um, the orders production database, something like that, whatever. Um, and then I can create save. And all of a sudden, I have a, an incident that has been created. So I can create, I can go over to the incidents page. So I can assign a lead um, and I can, I can save this. And if you've configured Slack uh, to integrate with Soda, you're automatically taken to uh, your Slack account where a specific channel for this specific incident has um, been created. So I can join this channel and I can, uh, for example, tag a member of my team to go and investigate this. So I'm going to type, for example, I'm going to call or ping Matisse. Um, look into this uh, issue. Looks pretty bad. Um, looks pretty bad. Let me know if I can help. Something like that, right? Um, so this is not in the uh, in the in this channel. So I'm going to invite it into the channel. From there, this channel it becomes the place where uh, any number of people in the team can start tackling um, data issues. All right. So you can see that Matisse is actually joining in the conversation, um, and he's just let me know. Um, oh yeah, our integration pipeline had a bug, and we've had to relaunch it. Okay. So I know that now he's um, looking into it. So that's pretty amazing. Uh, we're going to wait for the issue to be solved um, and we'll come back to our Slack channel in a second to make sure that uh, things are good. 
So it looks like this was a fast resolve and Matisse says it should be okay now. So I'm gonna rerun a test, a dbt build run, and in theory the data um, issue should now be uh, resolved. So I'm running now a, a new build of uh, dbt and it looks like indeed our issue is resolved. So that's amazing. And if I go into the datasets page again, and uh, open the details of the uh, test, I can see that you know we're we're back at at zero, and that's that's all good. All right, so I can go into the incident, close this, like something like data engineering team had an issue with the ingest pipeline, and but the issue is now resolved. All right, cool. We can resolve this issue now. Obviously, this issue was resolved pretty fast, so I would jump from um, reported to resolve. But there are a number of intermediate sta uh, states where, for example, if Matisse was investigating the, the error, he could have uh, updated the incident to be under fixing. All right, that's it for incident management and uh, the DBT uh, ingestion. The ultimate aim of the integration is to provide you 24 by 7 data availability with dbt plus soda. The idea is that you'll be able to transform data in your warehouse um, from the tools that you love, ship trusted data faster, and augment your testing capabilities from whatever source these uh, tests come from, um, and benefit from all the features around test alerting, cloud metric store, as well as incident management um, that Soda Cloud has to offer. All right, so I wanted to finish on a couple of notes, um, really around what makes Soda unique. As we've just demonstrated, um, it's really a place where you can have a, a unified workflow, enabling anyone and everyone to um, participate in improving um, data quality and reliability issues. It's very much self-serve. I was able to create an incident and have a member of my team fix this incident in a matter of minutes. Um, and it's all very much integrated into the modern tools of today. One of the really, really big things is our focus on open source. We believe that it's really important to have a solution that's easy to access and easy to test. And detecting data quality issues shouldn't be something that's reserved to only a handful of people who have the budget. All right, so what do you have now? Well, as we said, um, Soda Tools, the open source package that allows you to enforce data quality across your entire pipeline is open source. It's available on GitHub and obviously installable as a Python package from PyPI. Um, the Soda global data community already counts Disney, HelloFresh, and Udemy as major contributors to have deployed Soda's data reliability tool. They have contributed to a myriad of functionality on our code base already, and so can you. If you feel like a feature is missing or you just want to get involved in open source, uh, well, feel free to start with a GitHub issue uh, or open up a PR, and we're always uh, welcoming to that kind of stuff. You can also join our uh, Slack community group where you can ask for questions, uh, join into the discussion, and have early preview of any of our tools. And last but not least, if you want to start um, integrating your dbt tests with Soda, well, you can head over to docs.soda.io. You'll find a lot more information about how to configure uh, the integration as well as how to make it part of your production pipeline. And with that, see you next time. Have a good day.